Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to explain the connection between photosynthesis and fossil fuels. And that connection is an idea called carbon fixation. Now, remember the Calvin cycle uses energy from the light reactions part of photosynthesis to convert six carbon dioxides into glucose. So that means the energy that is now in the glucose can be passed through food chains to build the bodies of plants and animals. Okay, so this means that the energy that was once in sunlight is now being fixed or stored in the bodies of plants and animals. So if these plants and animals get buried or um, buried under the ground, then they can become what we call fossil fuels. And that energy is stored away because it's being stored in these carbon um, compounds like glucose and cellulose and keratin, all those things. Um, now, all energy eventually gets converted to heat when it's burned. So if you burn the fossil fuels or you burn the plants or the wood or the animals, then you release that energy that was once in sunlight back into the atmosphere. So let's look at that, this idea again in, in more of a graphic way. So all the energy starts as sunlight. Okay, it's The photosynthesis absorbs the sunlight in the light reactions and passes some of that energy to the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle makes glucose. Glucose then passes through the food webs and food chains, and it can end up three places. It can either end up in biomass of animals, which are walking around, or it can end up as heat if the energy is lost as heat. Remember, 90% of the energy is lost with each step of a food chain, so a lot of that is going to, to heat, for example, your body heat. Or this energy could get stored away underground as fossil fuel until somebody digs it up and then burns it for fuel. So I'm hoping you see this connection between photosynthesis and fossil fuels. Okay, now let's look at, at some fossil fuels in particular, uh, keeping in mind that the energy stored in fossil fuels is really ancient sunlight energy. So for example, coal is formed from the bodies of swamp plants that were buried, squeezed, and heated by rock layers for over 200 million years. And so coal, the layers of coal that you see in um, in coal mines is very old. It goes back about 200, 275 million years. And it once was formed from the bodies of um, swamp plants like ferns and tree ferns. Um, if you ask me in class, I can show you uh, a piece of coal or slate that has a lot of coal mixed into it where you can actually see the prints of fern leaves still in it after 250 million years. Uh, natural gas and petroleum, otherwise known as crude oil, is also formed as a fossil fuel but it forms under the ocean, and it's coming from the bodies of dead plankton animals, which piled up on the ocean floor, got buried, heated, and squeezed in much the same way that coal was formed over 200 million years. And if you look in this picture, you can see, um, this picture right here, you can see all these little um, plankton organisms that live in ocean water, and when they die, their bodies just sink down and build up layers. And so over here, we have one of these ancient layers that's been covered, cooked, and squeezed for 250 million years and people can drill down to them and pump the oil out. Okay, So this is showing you uh, the, the um, process of extracting liquid oil or natural gas from a seam of petroleum here underground. All right, thanks for listening and the next video cast will be on chemosynthesis. Good morning.